Uh, to the Arun Sharma Mindworks channel and back uh, with, with another question. As promised, we are going to be having a Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday uh, release of the videos on uh, the 50 must watch uh, quant question. And I'm today uh, giving you quant question 6. Uh, just remember to help us by subscribing to the channel. One, make sure that you're watching all the videos of the series so that you get consistent inputs from us. Two, third, do share the videos. I know in a competitive world you don't want to share good con good content with others, but do help us by share by sharing by sharing videos. Uh, you you rise by lifting yourself rather than and also by helping others. So make sure you do that, and then of course uh, do comment on the on the videos, and uh, so that so that YouTube the YouTube algorithm uh, or or your comments or the number of uh, uh, discussions you have around the videos will help uh, us. Uh, Get, get higher on the YouTube algorithms for YouTube to show this to more people, right? So just, just help us through those. And of course, keep the faith. We're going to come up with a lot of more content for you as we keep going on the channel. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the verbal ability question which Binakshi Ma'am had brought in today. And she is also going to be a Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday uh, delivery uh, for, for of, this, uh, of this series, at least till we co complete these, these numbers that we have talked about. So interesting question today. This is from... Uh, if you are solving my quants book, the QA for CAD book, this is from the LOD 2. Uh, I think question 54 in the current edition of LOD 2. <clears throat> the question talks about the function Rx is equal to the minimum of x square minus 8, 3x comma 8. Find the maximum value of Rx. Now this is a very common question. It's not a, it's not a, it's not an original CAD question or an original exam question. It's not been asked in any exam. But as I'll show you, uh, this is a question that is, uh, this, or the structure of, of this question is such that it actually <coughs> helps you find um, or, or helps you actually solve certain patterns of questions that you will see actually inside the CAD. You'll see, you'll see a lot of this happening inside the CAD. And that's actually the, the, the challenge that, that I have when I, when I write my books, that without using the actual CAD questions or by using them in a limited fashion, I have to give you question banks that, that simulate the same problem solving experience, right? Otherwise, anybody can write a book with, with the CAT questions and, uh, in the exercises. So I try to avoid that. So if you look at this, uh, 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 this, uh, this question, uh, how, do you, how do you handle a question like this? So what do you need to understand? That uh, Rx is a function here. Oops, I, I, I had, I had a, a an apple planned for you towards the end of the class, but chalo, theek, I've given you two apples now. Uh, we'll go back to the to the uh, to the to the pen. So the function Rx, uh, the function Rx, is a function that is that takes the minimum of three arguments, and the three arguments are functions themselves. X square minus eight. Uh, on on PowerPoint, you're not allowed to write this uh, sub suffix uh, unless I take a photograph I want to type this so x square minus x comma 3x comma 8 <coughs> so rx is a function that is that that looks at these three functions and selects the minimum of these three so rx what it does it's it looks at for every value of x it look at the at, at the values of, of these three functions and select the minimum of them. So the question is asking, and please be careful of this, the question is asking the maximum value of Rx. What is the highest value that Rx can take? Right, and as I'll show you, this is a very, very common question uh, in, the, in the CAD. Something like this has been asked seven, eight times, the, the thought required. Of course, the thought required in this question is slightly higher than what the CAT uh, will ask you to do. But, uh, but I'll show this, show this to you first. And along with the apple, I also have some bonus uh, content in today's class. So just wait, wait till the end, where I'll show you the bonus content. Uh, so the function Rx is the minimum of x square minus 8, 3x, and 8. Right, it's the minimum value of these three. And Rx takes, uh, and we have to find the highest value of Rx. So the typical uh, solution to this question, these kind of questions, and this is a standard template as I told you, uh, if you look through the past CAD papers, 
you'll find this uh, happening at least seven eight times you'll find this uh, this this uh, uh, this particular the reactions that i'm going to use inside this question have been directly asked at least seven eight times in the in the exam so let's have a look at what you do in this question let's have a look at what you do in the question right so what you do in this question is basically you have to think of these three graphs right you think you have to think about these three, three, three graphs x square minus 8 3x and 8 ye teeno graph ke bare mein sochna padega when you think about these three graphs you have to think about each of these functions as y is equal to x square minus 8 y is equal to 3x and y is equal to 8 think about it that way so if i think about the y is equal to y is equal to x square minus 8 graph i should be able to understand that if i go on the on the xy axis should i want to use this okay if i go on the x square x y axis it's basically a quadratic graph and if uh, this is the x square function let me just see this is difficult to do here uh, let's uh, let's let's draw it uh, here only so if i go for a uh, if i go for the x y axis the first uh, piece of information you need to know is that there's something called shifting of graphs so if you know the y is equal to x square graph this is the xy axis this is the xy axis and that's the origin you know the y is equal to x square graph is something like this the u shaped quadratic uh, function and x square minus 8 will basically shift this 8 units down right that's that's uh, a concept called which 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 is used to call shifting of graphs how do graph shift when you add or subtract some some constant value on on that so so the x square minus 8 graph is going to be somewhere like this with minus 8 at this point that means that x is equal to 0 it's going to take a minus 8 uh, value this is the first graph in this uh, in this picture the second graph is y is equal to 3x so when you look for y is equal to 3x, when you look for y is equal to 3x, we know that y is equal to 3x is a line, is a straight line having a slope of 3. So for clarity, let me draw this off and it will obviously pass through the origin. When you talk about the y is equal to 3x graph, it's going to pass through the origin uh, because x0, y0 y zero is going to be there and it's going to have a slope of, of, of 3. Uh, this is less, less than a slope of 3 that I've drawn. But uh, since this has got a constant slope, and uh, that graph has a has a slope ultimately, which which takes this, it, its slope keeps going up. You basically have two points at which y is equal to three x, and y is equal to x square minus eight will intersect. If you want to find those intersection points, you can by by equating the the logic of finding the intersection points. Uh, that's a side light to this question. If you want to find the intersection point of where x square minus eight intersects 3x, y is equal to x square minus x and y is equal to 3x. Where do intersect? Karte? The process is to equate the two and then solve this like a normal quadratic equation and get it. Right? We might have to do this a little bit later in this question. But uh, right now, uh, right now this is, this is my function. Right? These are my two functions. The white function is y is equal to x square minus 8. The yellow function is y is equal to 3x. Now suppose the question had been Suppose the question had been only these two. Let's for, for a moment, let's forget the 8. Suppose it's only these two. So what would happen, you, the way you would solve this question would be that uh, the function, the function r, rx, please, please uh, remember I have modified the question right now. I have modified the question, I am saying y, rx is the minimum of x square minus 8 and 3x. I have not included the 8 there. So if, if the function was uh, was just that, it's the minimum of x square minus 8 and 3x, if the function is only that, then what happens is rx at every point of x, by every point of x I mean rx will keep checking at every point on the x-axis. And it will keep checking between the red and yellow line and the white line, which one is lower, which one is lower. 
So if you, if you think about Rx, you can actually look at the plot of Rx like this. The Rx plot will look like this. Till this point, the yellow line was lower. It was, it was on the lower side on, on, in terms of the vertical elevation. Here, the white line is lower. Here, the white line is lower. And in this case, the yellow line becomes lower. So this, this red plot that I've created is kind of the, uh, the picture of Rx in this situation. Right? And in this case, of course, if the question had been only this, and I want to find the maximum value of Rx, the maximum value of Rx would be infinity because this red line will keep going to infinity. The white line will keep going faster up, but after this intersection point, it, the, the Rx graph will be on the, on the red line. Right? But uh, you don't need to do this here because you have a third part of the function. And that's basically how you see what Rx is. Since Rx, the, the trigger in Rx is that the minimum of these two functions, when I've changed the question, it's the minimum of these two functions. The trigger in Rx is that this is the minimum of these two functions. Rx will look at which one, which one of this is below on the, on the y-axis and keep taking that value. It will keep taking that value. So that's what Rx, Rx is going to be in, in this situation. Right? But, but in, this, in this particular case, we have a third, third point or a third uh, aspect. And that third aspect is x is equal to 8. <clears throat> Let me see how blue sounds there on a, on a green, on a black background. So we have also a third function, y is equal to 8. Now the y is equal to 8 function is a straight line horizontal at a height of 8. At a height of 8. Now where will it be? A height of 8 can be here. A height of 8 can be here. A height of 8 can be here also. And, and where it is will depend on where the intersection point of these graphs is. When, when these two, when the yellow line and the white line are intersecting, uska height kitna hai? Uske anusar, uska height agar 8 se niche pe hai, if the height is below 8, to blue line upar hoga uske. Or uska line agar 8 se niche hai, if this point is uh, above 8, if the intersection point of the yellow and uh, white is above 8, then uh, this uh, blue line will be below. So we need to check, because uh, before we start plotting Rx, we need to check where, where the Rx line will lie. We cannot draw it arbitrarily. And to check that, we'll have to go back to this discussion that you have to find the intersection points of x square minus 8 is equal to 3x, which means you're trying to find the intersection point of x square minus 3x minus 8 is equal to 0. You're, you're, finding, you're finding not the, the roots of this equation. And if you look at the roots of this equation, plus uh, minus b, the roots of this equation will be minus b, that's plus 3 plus minus under root b square <coughs> b square that's 9 minus 4ac minus 4ac is minus 4 into minus 8 into 1 so that's 41 upon 2a a is 1 so so this is the roots 3 plus root 41 by, by 2 and 3 minus root 41 by 2 uh, 3 plus root 41 by 2 and 3 minus root 41 by 2 and you can easily see that 3 minus root 41 by 2 this is the intersection is this point is 3 minus root 41 by 2 and this point on the x-axis is 3 plus root 41 by 2 this is what this is what this means now what why were we doing this we are trying to find ki ye jo intersection point ka height hai on the y-axis the intersection ka point ka jo height hai wo 8 ke upar hai ke niche hai. That's what we are trying to find. Is it above 8 or below 8? So if I take a rough value of root 41, it will be 6 point maybe, 6.3 maybe, 6.3, 6.4. Or ye is 9.3, 9.4 ho jayega, 9.4 divided by 2, 4.7 value hai. So 3x at x is equal to 4.7 approximately is going to be around 14. So the height of this is around 14, which means that my blue line, my blue line, the, the y is equal to 8 line is going to come somewhere below that. Right? So this, this is what we have found. Itna karne se itna hi mila hai. Right? Now, ek bar ye tino line ban gai, mere. Once all these three lines have been, have been made, the next thing I am interested in, the next thing I am interested in, is to see ki Rx ka plot kya hoga. 
So we'll go back to the red, red creation. And what, what Rx does? What, what will Rx do? Rx looks at all the three lines and finds the, on the, on the vertical uh, height, which is the lowest one at various points on the x-axis. So if I, if I start going from this point on the x-axis, I start realizing that Rx is going to take this because the yellow line, the right line and the blue line are in that order in vertical format till this point. After this, after this, the lowest line between the well, yellow from, from this point till this point it's going to be on the yellow line. So it's going to continue this way. Rx is going to continue this way. And from this point as you go right, from this point till this point where where the white and the blue are intersecting not the white and yellow where the white and blue are intersecting we have not found that point ye point khoja nahi hum logo khojne ki zarurat bhi nahi hai to between these two if you compare the height of the white line the yellow line and the blue line and i'm going slow because i don't want any questions too many questions coming on the charts i want a lot of charts but not too many questions on the charts so uh, if i if i look at uh, look at this the height of the uh, of the uh, uh, of the, uh, so so amongst these three the the lowest height will be the white line here so the red line will take this function this will be rx and from here from from this value of rx you will then go after this it's going to be on the blue line because the yellow and the white are are above from this point so if I look at the, uh, the, the, the function which I have drawn for Rx, the Rx function is basically looking like this. It's basically looking like this. And after that, it's going to be on this, on this line because the white and the yellow line are going to keep going up after this. So the question was asking, what is the maximum value of Rx? So the maximum value of Rx is this height. It's not going to cross this height at any point. And that height, as we know, is 8. And hence, the correct answer in this question is 8 right so i'll just repeat that because there were some uh, uh, connection issues uh, happening there uh, uh, on my uh, on my this thing or maybe i'll just uh, do a do a separate uh, uh, a broadcast on this and uh, maybe maybe i'll just leave you with the apple because uh, uh, there's some some connection issue happening with my with my broadcasting right now so so the bonus question I'll do as, as the next question. Maybe I'll do a 6A a little bit later. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.